So, creating a podcast can be difficult. You know, it's, let's meet up at such and such a time. And is that EST? Is it Pacific? Is it European time? It gets so confusing. What if I told you that there was a way to create a podcast really easily and you don't even have to meet your guest? Well, keep watching and I'm going to show you how. Hey, it's Richard Butler here with another software review. And today I'm talking about Rumble.studio. And Rumble is something that I looked at for quite a while and hesitated in buying. Why? Because it is a podcasting solution that is asynchronous. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, synchronous is we do things together at the same time. Asynchronous is different times. So when I looked a little bit more into the software, it said basically you can record your questions for your podcast and then send a link to your podcast guest and they can record their answers at a time that is convenient for them. I didn't get it. I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. I mean, that's not going to be a good podcast. And I went away and then I came back and I looked at it again. And I signed up for a a free demo account. And what I found, well, it blew me away. Why? Because suddenly it made sense. I mean, I'm in Barcelona, so that's six hours ahead of EST. And if I want to interview somebody who might be in California, well, they're nine hours behind me. So trying to get a time to meet that person is near impossible. It's either too late for me or too early for them. So then I thought, well, asynchronous, that could be the answer. So I decided to give it a try. And this is what I thought. Wow. I mean, it was pretty damn amazing. So let's log in here to my account. And here you will see this is the studio look. Now, how does it work? Well, I go into new interview and I call this, for example, a sample interview. And I can say start off with a simple audio interview. So what I then do is I put in a greeting here. Okay. And I can give instructions to my participants to say, okay, thanks for your interest in our show. Please find a quiet place before recording and let's get ready to rumble, which I really like. Now, then I have the first question here and I can put in a title question one and I can put in a description. So I can say, okay, uh, in this question, um, you will answer um, about teaching. And then what I can do is I can record myself asking the question. So, hey, welcome along to this podcast. And today I am interviewing John Smith, who has been a teacher for the last 90 years. And John, you're going to tell us about your experiences. And I finish there. And then what they will see here is they will see an opportunity for them to record. Now, I like to give the participants some guidance of making sure that they hit record and start to speak immediately because that's the only thing that I found that if they don't hit record at the right time or they don't start speaking immediately, I may stop my question and then there's maybe a three second pause. Now I've been talking to the owner and the team and they said that they do have some um, software that will cut out the blank spaces but they're just tweaking that so it will be a filter that will be in there so it should run smoothly and what you do is you keep adding questions so then I put in question two and then what I can do is I put in another audio request down here now when I'm ready I share this so let me just show you some interviews that I've already created so this was um, this is one that I've done a general template for your teaching journey now I can preview how it's going to look I can put in a different theme here if I want, and it comes with brand kits. So I'm gonna change this brand to That's Teaching Life, which is a brand that I have. And then I go to share, and I can just copy that link. And now if I go here, what you're going to see is, you're going to see these questions. And I click, and it says, okay, do this, ignore this step. And now they will um, go in and they will record their section there. Okay, so I go to the next step and they record their next section there. And they keep recording 
the next section as they go on. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at another one that I did. So if I go back to interviews, um, this was your English learning journey. So if I want to interview a, um, if I want to inter interview, for example, um, an English learner, I can do that. I click here and then it comes up here. Now you will hear that I have the intro there. I click on continue, I press OK, I ask them for all their information here, and then this is me speaking. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to hear this. Hey, and welcome along. So if you were able to, to hear that, it goes, hey, and welcome along to this podcast today. I am talking to my guest about English learning. Now, does it sound good? Well, I'll drop a link in the description for you to actually check out what it does sound like, and you can be the judge of how good it actually sounds. I think it sounds really good. With a little bit of practice, I think it's good. The only thing I noticed, and it was my fault, was that when I was recording my audio pieces, I kept clicking with my mouse, and you could actually hear my mouse clicks. Now, what happens when somebody answers, their answers come up here. So I have these answers from this girl, Tara, and then I click on Mix Creation. I say I want to use this. I see all of the answers here, and I say Create. Now, this is um, 16 minutes long. What I can do, and, they're, and again, they're expanding out in this, but I actually have an intro here that I can just drag out here, and then I have an outro. So the intro is just, you're listening to Richard Butler, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and I just drag that out there. And when I'm happy with everything, I can preview everything, I export this, and I generate a new export, and you get a certain amount of exports per month. I'm on their, their second tier plan, uh, good time to tell you that this is currently on the uh, 6th of um, August of 2022. It's currently on a lifetime deal. I went for tier two, which is 50 hours. Well worth it. And that is it. That is your podcast made. Now, here's a really interesting uh, thing that I've done. I've set up a podcast template for myself so that I every week I have a format. So introduction to podcast and welcome. So this might be, hey, you're listening to Richard Butler. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week. My next question is, what is the topic? So then I record again. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about mindset. Then I go into this. It's very important because blah, blah, blah. And then I go into my next question with the main content and the key takeaway. And it means that my podcasts are more, more coherent and they follow the same structure. So for me, I was skeptical, but this is amazing. I mean, it really is something that I think if you're into podcasting or you want to get into podcasting, you really need to get this. And the beauty of it is that I could actually record using my iPad if I wanted. If I was traveling and I wanted to record a podcast, I could do it very, very easily like that. Um, sometimes the interface takes a little bit of time to get used to. I mean, initially it took me a little bit of time to get used to. Um, so that's one disadvantage. Uh, one advantage, let me just talk about one advantage of this is you could basically have the same questions and share the same link with everybody. And what you could do is you could say, welcome along to this episode of the podcast, where of course I'm asking the same questions to multiple podcast guests to get their views. And if the questions are um, all the same, yeah, maybe it makes the podcast a little bit boring. They're hearing the same questions from you, but the actual participants are answering different questions. And one mistake, I mean, it takes a little bit of practice I did. I wouldn't put in anything like, okay, that's great information that you've shared, etc. cetera. Um, if I was doing this again, I would record just very simple questions. So can you tell us about your English learning journey? Okay, a lot of people tell me and put it like that rather than that's very interesting information or okay, that's fantastic. Now let's move on to the next question because it might sound a little bit artificial. So you need to think about the questions there. But overall, if you want to try podcasting, if you don't want to do it live with somebody and then have to do all the editing, this is the way to go. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like and give me a thumbs up and I shall talk to you very soon.